So that is the intro to the secret world. Hi everyone, this is Yanji. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna take a look at the secret world. So we're gonna play through the intro, or part of the intro today, I think, and I'm gonna upload another video with the rest of the tutorial levels. Because there are actually two tutorials on this game. I don't know why they decided to do that. But that's the way it is. So this is going to teach us how to move around and the basic of the quests. <coughs> so we're going to go down here and we're going to pick up our weapon. And then we're going to, as you can see over here, uh, to the right of the screen, you can um, you get tips on how to do everything. There we go. We have equipped our weapon. So we're gonna kill this dude. There we go. You don't have to worry about this guy, he's stuck in this defense over there. But these guys are actually up and about. So we have to spend a bit of energy to kill them. We have to make it quick so they don't kill us first. There we go. We, we always get to who speaks to us, one male and one female. Now the female sounds like she's a good person or a good being, but we don't know. Because she does things that is a bit ambiguous sometimes, so we don't know if she's the one who's lying to us, while the guy, who is black by the way, and he has a butt blade, and you can get all these information stuff Anytime you need it, you can, you can get instruction videos. Uh, Speciality. And I don't need it. So, go away. And let's do this. Kill this guy. The Rakshasa is a demon. Well, we're going to see a lot of them, especially if we're going to do dungeons later on. Because uh, if I'm going to get joined by Eric, we're probably going to do some dungeoneering later on. Uh, depends on... We're probably going to take our main characters to do the dungeoneering, because it's way easier with a high-level character than with uh, someone who's just barely scraping by. So the point with this is to learn how to use the battle, the combat techniques and your abilities and uh, stuff. So we're gonna fight uh, these basic enemies and we're gonna fight a special character and then we're gonna fight a boss. And they're gonna teach you different parts of this. I mean these guys shows you how to deal with several of them at once. And uh, these, these are the basic standard enemies, they usually come in packs. And now we have the special character, he's gonna show up over here soon I hope. There we, we go. Who is the Grave Keep. And he's a special character, he's not that dangerous. But when you get into the game later on, especially when you get to Solomon Island, he is way worse. Well, not he, but the special characters are way worse. And some of them are unbeatable unless you have a very specific set of talents. So some are world bosses who are supposed to be dealt with by 40 other players. So yeah, stay away from them. And that's a revenant. Mm -hmm. 
I'm here gonna tell you about uh, active dodge and you can do a dodge while pressing shift or by double tapping and I usually double tap so you're just gonna push two times on the button in the direction you want to dodge and he has several of these AOEs so just stay out of them and you'll be fine So, ah, oh, lag spike. I have some downloads going on, that's why it's acting weird. Just gonna kill off the revenant. There we go. And then we're gonna send in the mission report. And open the bag. And the bag opens by double tapping the left mouse button. And you can do that again to, to equip whatever you get. So we got a, a belt of a luminous shade. And this is giving us 19 item power and you, we get 3 hit points, 17 atta in attack rating and 8 in protection. And 3 hit points, uh, hit points is the same as health points uh, or HP. Uh, attack rating is your attack points, uh, how much damage you do to your enemy, uh, while protection is kind of like armor. So, oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. So, because there is no armor in this game, so you have to have protection from your talismans. So we're gonna open this, and then we're gonna jump down. We're gonna go deeper into the dream. And they just said make your right make your right choices. And now they're gonna show us the different kind of um, what's it called? Missions. Uh, this it's an investigation, and you can have one active investigation at a time. We're gonna pick this up. Push the button, and now we're gonna solve a lot of puzzles. So, you see here are some pressure plates on the floor, and if we step on the wrong one, we're probably gonna meet a fiery death. So, and here is, you see this symbol over here? That's probably a clue. So we're gonna go find the pressure plates with that symbol on them. Because that means you can touch them without worrying. And there we go. So we're gonna go to the next chamber. down to the next chamber and in here we have another clue and a closed door see those things over there this is the way it usually is when there is a puzzle you have some kind of clue somewhere sometimes they are really obscure and really hard to find but there is always a clue somewhere to what you are supposed to be doing and sometimes you really have to go on the internet, so you press B on the keyboard, like so, and the web browser opens, and you can Google and do whatever. So that's actually kind of interesting, it's an interesting idea. So, since we have those three, we're gonna suppose that we're supposed to press them in this order. So, we have this one first. There we go, and then we're gonna have an angel or whatever this is I think it's a knot but I'm gonna call it an angel and then we have the squiggly thing and it's this one and there we go we can move now move on deeper into the dream As you can see, they are always telling you different stuff, and that's kind of interesting. So we're gonna move on and learn about another set of missions. Uh, 
and she has a sabotage mission. And this bit is from Transylvania. So these are mines, so don't step on them. The hitboxes can be a bit weird sometimes, so you can actually set them off but without without stepping on them and sometimes you do step on them and they don't explode so it's a bit weird. And these are lasers, don't touch them because they blow up. We're gonna make it past here and then we're gonna try to jump over this looking thing. There we go. And here you can see there is some electricity in the water. And we're gonna use this to turn it off. And this is just so you get a feeling for what you should do when you play stuff like this. And how you're doing it. And here comes a sneaking, a stealth mission. And we're gonna sneak past this guy. Uh, and if he sees us, he's gonna kill us. And you can see the red the red beam and the red circle around him. If you step inside of that, he's gonna see you and he's gonna kill you. So we're gonna run behind him all the way around and keeping behind the pillars if needed. So he can't see us. And that's actually a good thing because he, he doesn't have sight anywhere else but in the, that circle and tri triangle. So we're gonna turn on the electricity and kill him. And then we have to go over here because he has the clue to how to open the door. 3691. So we, we have to remember 3691. And we can press J to open our journal and see images if we need to. And here we have a keypad, and well, I guess we found a four digit number 3691. And we're gonna open the door. So that's actually part of the clues you get. And we, we made it. This up. Put that on. We're gonna run out to these people. And Welcome we're in uh, New York, I think. We're in Times Square, and this is actually a raid you can do later on. And there is my phone is ringing, I'm gonna pick that up later. This is going to be bad because I'm a close combat person. So I need to get really close to this freaking thing. Which means it's probably going to kill me. Oh no! There we go. And that's that ladies and gentlemen we're gonna leave off right here and then we're gonna continue in New York in the next video so if you like this video and want to see mine and probably Eric's playthrough of the secret world uh, then just check back here I'm gonna upload every Monday and Friday and we're also gonna do live streams on Thursdays and on Sundays but they might not be secret world related so, if you like this, subscribe to my channel for more content from Secret World and other s interesting games. And uh, uh, leave a like and a comment down below. I love your comments.
and follow me on social media, Twitter and Twitch, for more live streams and information of what I'm, I've been up to during my days. So, see you around and have a good one. Bye bye.